Hi guys, Miss Erin here. Today we're gonna do something fun. We are going to make a cake, but not your typical cake. This is called a three, two, one mug cake. So there's a couple of things that we're going to need. We're gonna go over some of the ingredients and our materials that we need. So first of all, we're gonna need a bowl. We need either a whisk or a spoon or something that we can mix. We're going to need a fork and we're going to need a tablespoon. Now, as far as our other materials we need, we need some cooking spray. You need a mug. You need some water. You need two boxes of cake mix. One has to be angel food cake, no matter what. The second one could be any cake that you like. In my house, we happen to like chocolate cake. So that's why we have a devil's food cake. But you could make banana or birthday cake or yellow cake, whatever you like. So the first thing you have to do is make sure that your hands are nice and clean and washed before we do any type of cooking. Okay, so my hands are nice and clean. And now we can begin. So first things we're going to do is we're going to open up the angel food cake. Oh, I think I need a scissor for this. Careful. And we're going to take our angel food cake and we're going to carefully, we're going to dump this into our bowl. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is take our chocolate cake mix or whatever cake mix you decide you wanted to make. I'm gonna open this and we're going to dump this into the bowl along with our angel food cake mix. Now we're going to take our whisk. You wanna make sure that this is mixed very thoroughly just our dry ingredients. We are not adding any eggs. We're not adding any water at this moment or oil. Our angel food cake is what's going to act as all of those ingredients that we need. Okay, so this looks pretty good. You wanna just mix this nice and thoroughly. Make sure there's no big lumps. Make sure that it's all blended together. And it should look something like this when you're done. Okay, now our next step, you're going to get a mug. Here's our mug. Now, if you have some cooking spray, this will help it from sticking to your mug. You don't have to use it, but it definitely will help. So we're gonna spray our mug like so. Now that's done. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to put in our dry ingredients. Now, if you remember, I said it's three, two, one cake. So what do we need first? Three tablespoons of our dry ingredients. One, two, and there's our third. Okay, we're halfway through. Next step, water. We did three, oh, we're up to two now two tablespoons of water. So there goes one, and there goes two. Now is when you take your fork, and you wanna mix this pretty well in there. It might start to foam a little bit and bubble up, and that's okay. You just wanna make sure you get everything off of the bottom and get all these ingredients all the dry ingredients mixed up really well with the water. Okay, I just wanna make sure, because sometimes I get powder left on the bottom. Okay, that's done. Now, the last step, what could it be? <gasps> Cooking it, one minute. Now this is where you might need the assistance of your parents or your guardians, but you may not. So this is where you take your cake mix, into your mug now, and we're gonna put it in our microwave. 
We set it for one minute. Okay, it's done. Let's see how our cake came out. Here's our cake. See that? All done. It's nice and small. Oh, I forgot to mention, before you put this in the microwave, you can add things to it. You could put in chocolate chips, or you could put in some marshmallows, or if you like nuts and aren't allergic, you could put some nuts in. You could do whatever. You could try different things to try and do it. So now that this is done, it's time to eat it. So you can either enjoy it right out of this mug or you can flip it out, put it on a plate, maybe some strawberries, maybe some whipped cream, maybe even chocolate sauce and enjoy it. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this nice little video of mine. I just thought it would be something fun to do during this quarantine. And this way, it's something that you might be able to do on your own. We've learned all about some cooking skills in school, and now it's time to put it to use. Maybe make a cake for someone in your family, or maybe just make it for yourself. Either way, be careful, be safe, enjoy your cake, and I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.